Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Day of Spring Discussions. I'm your host, Sean McGahey, and this is a show where we talk about movies, TV, sci-fi, fantasy, comic books. If you geek out about it, we're going to talk about it. You can listen to Day of Spring Discussions on iTunes, YouTube, Podomatic, and Patreon. And while you're there, go ahead and rate, review, like, or dislike. Just join in the discussion. And you can contact Day Spring Discussions on the Facebook group, Twitter account, and DaySpringDiscussions at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's SlimDaySpring12. Okay, guys. So, uh, happy Tuesday, everyone. It is a Tuesday afternoon here in Austin, Texas. Pretty nice day out. I went out uh, early, got some errands done, got all my Christmas uh, decorations taken down on Sunday, and then today I schlubbed all of them up in the attic, so my garage is pretty empty right now, which is kind of nice, so I can get back to making it my workout space but hope you guys are enjoying your week i have just really one actual topic to discuss today hopefully i can get this one up on wednesday morning um like i said it is tuesday afternoon i'm gonna try to get this done i gotta take my daughter to gymnastics and then i'm going back for round three of the rise of skywalker this is actually the uh, last time i've seen it since the opening night i my wife and i went you know thursday opening night when it came out and then we took a group on that friday so it's been about two weeks or so since i've seen it but since then i've you know listened to several podcasts and reviews that i would normally listen to and i got you know different perspectives and all that on the story i've even read the visual dictionary so i'm looking forward to going back maybe catching a few things i didn't catch before for maybe looking at things from a different point of view and you know hopefully enjoying the film more because as of right now it's not one of my favorite star wars movies but it is a star wars movie that you know does have some good points to it um hopefully i can go in the third time and just enjoy it more that's what we all want from our movie going experience and of course from our star wars experience so all right guys like i said i don't really have a lot except for one story i do want to touch on just two things real quick while we're talking star wars i know there's that rumor going around about you know the next possible film being the high republic set 400 years before uh the events of episode one maybe like a young yoda going in there there are rumors at this point until lucasfilm or disney says anything i have no doubt that they are working on something similar to that um but i try not to report on rumors too much unless it comes from you know the major trades hollywood reporter deadline variety even the rap is pretty good unless you know those four are really reporting something i try not to post it or really try to buy into it too much my friend has this one website we've got it covered.com he's always posting stuff from that web website that just seem ridiculous um and i always make fun of him for posting stuff from that website because um what a one person that i listen to always says if you see a story that seems a little ridiculous follow the source and most of the time it is so i always tell him to follow the source and a few times i've had to click on we've got this covered.com to uh kind of prove him wrong um it's sad but then of course they got my views so which i hate but anyway guys um I'm not going to talk about that. I'll wait till Lucasfilm and Disney put out something official as far as that goes. Also, there are talks that Christian Bale might be uh, in the next Thor film, Thor Love and Thunder. That's great and all, but again, I don't talk about people being casted in movies or TV shows unless we know who they're playing because I could say Daniel Craig has been cast to be in Episode 7 The Force Awakens, which he was. But he was a stormtrooper uh, with a helmet on, you didn't recognize, and he was in 30 seconds of the film. It's not that big a deal. And now if you tell me that he was going to be, you know, a main Jedi, that's something to report on. Talk about the character a little bit. But again, all we know is a great actor is possibly in talks to be in a film that I'm looking forward to. So I'm excited for it, but I don't want to go too much into it because I have no idea if he's going to be in half the movie or two seconds of the movie. So when more comes out, I'll talk about more. Okay, so like I said, this is probably going to be a quick one because I do have just one thing to talk about. But I'm glad I get to talk about this actually because as I've referenced, this show is based off an x-men title and for those of you who don't know um you know you go read your x-men comics look into your lore and you can figure out where the word dayspring comes from because i'm a big x-men fan i've always been a big x-men fan and for a show that is named after an x-men reference i feel like i don't talk enough 
X-Men, which is why today I get to talk X-Men. It's really the only thing I want to talk about. So good day for me. Seems like these last couple of months, all I've been talking about is Star Wars, which makes sense with The Rise of Skywalker and The Mandalorian. But now Star Wars has taken a little break. Um, other things will be entered into the show, things to talk about. Of course, Star Wars is never out of the picture, though, especially with, you know, Clone Wars on the horizon, uh, which definitely I will talk about that. Uh, not sure if I want to do a separate show with that with Lisa or something else. I'll figure that out later on, so stay tuned. But anyway, talking X-Men, we're talking New Mutants. That's right, guys. A new trailer for the New Mutants was released yesterday, Monday morning. Uh, the film is set to come out April 3rd. Although, this film, for those of you who don't know a little bit of the history, the film was actually supposed to come out, I believe it was two years ago, April 13th, 2018. I think it was when it was originally supposed to come out. Basically, what happened was there was going to do some reshoots. There was a struggle between the studio and possibly Joss Boone, the director, about what they wanted the film to be. And then the Disney-Fox merger happened, and New Mutants kind of got put on the back burner. Now, we had heard from the director on Twitter and also other sources saying that Josh Boone had really was able to put together the type of movie that he originally wanted to put together, giving it that kind of horror slant, uh, rather than go the more traditional superhero type of film. Uh, so that's kind of looks like what we're getting uh, as you can see from the trailer it does look like it does have that kind of suspense and horror vibe to it which looks really cool and like I said the film was supposed to come out a while ago before Dark Phoenix came out Dark Phoenix not the best X-Men film probably towards the bottom of my X-Men film uh, reviews definitely but so now this is the last X-Men film we're getting from the Fox universe, I guess you would say. Now the unique thing about this picture is because it is post the Disney Fox merger, it could possibly be a new start for X-Men uh, in this Disney era. But I'll talk about that in just a few minutes. First, I want to get back to what this actual trailer gave us. And what it gave us was some new X-Men characters and some great actors, to be honest. Uh, I'm excited for this film. I'm not a huge New Mutants person. I, like, I don't read a lot of the New Mutants comic books. I know this storyline is supposed to be based after the Demon Bear storyline, which, i gonna be honest, I've never read before. You know, I, I mainly took a lot of the streamlined main X-Men books, so I'm not familiar with the storyline it's based off of. I am familiar with some of the characters, though. Uh, Sam Gunthery, played by Charlie Heaton, he is... Cannonball, um, I love Cannonball. He's a great, great character. Um, back when, you know, I was just younger and starting to really get into X-Men as far as the Onslaught saga and all that, uh, he was on the team, just jumped over from X-Force. So, you know, he was the new young kid on the team. And, you know, being that I was a kid, I kind of related to him in that respect. Um, he even took on Gladiator once and beat him. He's basically a human rocket is what he is. So he's an interesting character. Uh, Charlie Heaton, who is from Stranger Things, is going to be playing with him. Uh, another alumni, Macy Williams from Game of Thrones, is playing uh, Rain Sinclair, a otherwise known as Wolfsbane. And she's jumped around quite a bit, um, but I know her most from being on the old X-Factor team with Havoc and Polaris and Multiple Man and Strong Guy uh, back in the 90s. So that's how I know her character. I know she was in X-Force for a while, uh, post messiah complex uh, again just another great interesting character but probably my favorite character of the group has to be uh, iliana rasputin aka magic played by anya taylor joy and this character is colossus's sister yes colossus from the deadpool movies and the other x-men movies this is his sister and she's a very interesting character because her mutant ability is basically allows her to teleport but she teleports by going through a demon dimension, which is kind of freaky. At one point, she gets stuck there and actually grows up a little bit in the demon dimension. She has a sword called the Soul Sword that she uses. Um, and you see that at the end of the trailer, which I absolutely loved seeing the Soul Sword. That was awesome. Um, but also, she studied under Doctor Strange as well to help control her abilities. Uh, so she has some magic abilities, of course. Uh, within that so you know she's just a really cool character i'm glad to see her up on the screen 
The other characters we see, you have uh, Danielle Moonstar, played by Blue Hunt. Um, and then, of course, you have Roberto de Costa, a.k.a. Sunspot, by Henry Zaga. I know these characters. I'm not as familiar with them as I am the other characters. Uh, Sunspot, though, I believe when there was the Age of Apocalypse, there was Gambit and the Externals, which I was a huge Gambit fan as a kid. So that's the Age of Apocalypse book that I was into. Sunspot was in it. Um, so, you know, that's really I know him versus, of course, being in the regular X-Men books along with that. And then the other character I am familiar with is Dr. Cecilia Reyes, uh, played by Alice Bragas. Cecilia Reyes, um, I first saw her in Operation Zero Tolerance when, you know, Bastion had had the Sentinel movement out to take out the X-Men and Iceman was charged with protecting her um and they were on the run she's been you know with the x-men ever since as kind of an advisory role not sure what she's doing in this film just from the trailer you know she's trying to help these kids in what sense she's trying to help them we don't know now also on the imdb cast list is antonio Banderas. he doesn't have a character name actually so don't know what's going on with him. And there is a character on here played by Happy Henderson, Reverend Craig. Now, in the trailer, we actually see what believes to be purifiers, the people who are the mutant-hating religious group who, you know, want to kill all mutants. So whether, you know, they're going to be attacking these mutants or whether Dr. Reyes is going to try to protect them from them, I don't know. But any of it, this trailer looked great because it looked so different. I'm not a horror guy, like, at all. Like, I, ask anyone, you know, that knows me. I don't really watch horror movies. But one thing that Fox has done great with their X-Men films within the last couple of years is taking that superhero genre and giving it a slant, transcended the genre almost, where Deadpool was kind of a, a mockery of the genre. And Logan was, you know, an old-style, almost Western um, drama which was a great film, Dark Knight and Logan, uh, Joker, of course, that, you know, you don't believe that you're watching a comic book movie because it's so dramatic and well done. I think this has the potential to be another one of those films that, yeah, it comes from a comic book, and yeah, technically it's a superhero movie, but you don't know to the average audience that it is a superhero Marvel film because it just looks like people, you know, haunted by ghosts that have special powers. I mean, I've seen several horror films, well, previews of horror films at least, that are kind of on the same premise. So it could be something that people walk into not knowing they're walking into a comic book film until you see the Marvel logo, which you're going to see. And also, too, they look, you know, pretty true because, you know, Wolfsbane is Scottish. Um, Cannonball is, you know, a southern boy from Kentucky. And Ileana is from Russia. And from this trailer, they all seem to be doing the, the character's native accents, if you will. So that right there gives me a lot of confidence that they didn't just try to play it straight. Um, you know, make them as normal as they could be. The accents are in there. Hopefully they play to the character's strengths. And we get an enjoyable, again, original, different kind of film. Because going and watching the same superhero film all the time can be fun. I agree, it can be fun. But you gotta ha you know, change it up a little bit if the genre is to survive. If the comic book genre is to survive, you need to get a bunch of different feels when walking into each one. I mean, I will give Warner Brothers at least some credit and Zack Snyder, how they tried to make their DC Cinematic Universe feel different and act different than, say, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, as I said, this was the last film in the Fox-produced X-Men films. I mean, technically Dark Phoenix was supposed to come out later, but the way things happen, this is the last of them. But if it's good, if it's different enough, if people respond well to it, Maybe this could be the beginning of the Disney X-Men. I mean, honestly, I don't think it will be in any way, shape, or form. But you call something the New Mutants, and it's, you know, something you can kind of pivot off of. The only problem is, you know, in the comics, these are the second generation 
of X-Men next to, you know, Cyclops, Jean Grey, Iceman, and all those characters. So they're technically supposed to be younger, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, It's a way that, you know, seen in a different light is what these characters could be. And again, just a way to pivot into a new world. Now, Feige, I believe, has said that, you know, the the Fox characters they've got, like X-Men and Fantastic Four, are going to be incorporated into the MCU. I, for one, don't want to see the X-Men in the MCU, but that's just my own personal preference. Uh, I can draw into more of that. I have drawn into more of that. So, you know, message me and I'll talk more about that. But, again, it lies a problem where, you know, these type of characters are in the MCU and, you know, it, it leaves a little bit of a question mark as to how, I guess. So, any event, this trailer, much like the original trailer, I think, again, gives it that different feel than what other X-Men films were. Dark Phoenix was, you know, safe. And that's kind of, you know, what you get to from X-Men books, where you, you do have the main book, X-Men or Uncanny X-Men, and then you have all the other ones like X-Force, X-Factor, um, I don't know, Wolverine, that really have a different purpose than the regular X-Men books. So again, New Mutants, it's supposed to have just a little bit of a different feel to it. It looks like it does. So I, for one, am excited just for that alone. Not only we're getting, you know, it's a film, an X-Men film that looks like it's actually going to be finished, going to be released, hopefully does well. And it's something that is going to be a little different from what we see from the regular X-Men or superhero films. Um, it's going to be in there. You can definitely see that they're in there. Um, you do have that, but... Uh, I'm excited to see exactly what Josh Boone and this film that has been under development hell for the last couple of years actually is going to look like. So, all right, guys, well, time for you to fire back. Of course, let me know what you think about the new trailer for the new mutants. And of course, um, you know, do you know all the production drama? How do you feel about it? Do you think that Uh, all that drama is going to affect the way the film comes out um, or do you think they kind of got past all that and actually you know made a decent film fire back of course on the social media groups and gmail account i want to know what you think well that's going to be it guys like i said i only had that one thing to talk about um, but i want to get it out there and you know share my feelings about it Um, just tell me what you feel about it because i want to know that and let's start the discussion All right, well, I am going to go get ready to take my daughter gymnastics. And then, like I said, I'm going to head over and watch The Rise of Skywalker. It'll probably be my last viewing in theaters for this film. I'm looking forward more to the novel coming out in March. If you haven't listened, a couple days ago, Lisa and I put out an episode kind of about the future of Star Wars and just where we think the franchise is going to go after the rise of skywalker and the mandalorian season one uh talk about what's coming up in this year for, as far as tv comics and books and all that stuff so you can check that out i think it was a really good discussion that we had i love talking star wars with my wife we always have a good time because we're both such big star wars fans but that's it guys uh go out enjoy the rest of your day hopefully i'll have another show up this week Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what news pops up, and uh, I'll be sure to share my feelings on it. So until then, of course, you can always uh, share your feelings on any of the stories on the social media groups or uh, dayspringdiscussions at gmail.com. Post some stuff up. Tell your friends. And until next time, may the Force be with us all.